Hi, I'm Sharon Urock. I teach at Dunwoody College of Technology in the Computer Networking Department. And today we're going to talk about the FAT file system and we'll be using FAT12 as our example to look at. We've looked at the archive um, byte already. Now let's jump to the end at a couple of the easier parts before we go do the dates and time. The last four bytes in the entry are where the actual file size is stored. Four bytes reserved for the file size. Little endian, so what we have is 0000018 in hex, 18 in hex converted to decimal is 24. And remember that 1.txt was a 24 byte file. The next two bytes beside that are Sure, we know the file is on the disk now because it's in the root directory table. We type dir and we see it. But if we want to actually open the file, where on the disk should, the, um, should it go be found? Well, it needs to know what cluster number the first part of the file is. And the first part of the file is going to be stored in cluster number 0002, which is cluster number 2. That would be the first data cluster. Clustering starts at number 2. Um, and then the date and the time. We looked at the, the modified date and the modified time. There's also stored in here the date created and the date, um, the time created, and a few flags that are used by NT. But we'll just lastly look at how to parse a date and how to parse a time. The next two bytes over are the date modified. I'm going to parse that and I'm going to hope that it turns out to be August 23rd, 2010. I have here hex 173D, that is a single value, so it has to have its bytes reversed, so it's 3D17. Again, each bit means something, or group of bit means something, so I'm going to need to convert this two byte hex number into binary. Um, and I need to the zeros, if you're doing the conversion with a calculator, remember the calculator won't include the leading zeros if they're not needed. We need the leading zeros. 3 is converted to 0011. D is converted to 1101. 1 is converted to 0001. And 7 is 0, 0, sorry, 0, 1, 1, 1. I converted this two-byte hex number into a two-byte binary number. Now, how, what do we do with this? We're going to have to see how, you know, which bits mean what. And the format for date is bits, this is bit 15 and this is bit 0. Bits 15 through 9 are the year offset from 1980. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Bits 8 through 5 are the month. 8, 7, 6, 5. And then the remaining bits are the day in the month. So now I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bit value that represents the number to add to 1980 to get the year. Convert that to decimal because I have to add a decimal number to 1980. And I'm going to be this binary number converts to decimal 30. The month, 1000 in binary, what is that in decimal? Well, it's 8. And then the day, 10111 in binary, what is that in decimal? That is 23. So what is the year? 1980 plus 30, 2010. The eighth month is October, is August. The 23rd day in August is when that file was created. The next two bytes beside that are the time that it was created. I'm going to parse that and I'm going to hope that it turns out to be 212 in the afternoon, which in military time would be 1412. I have in hex 8271. I'll erase this and put that there. Reverse the bytes so they have 7182. 
Again, I'm going to have to convert that two byte hexadecimal number into binary because then I'm going to separate the groups of bits to come up with the, if it's uh, time, it's going to be the hours, minutes, and seconds. Seven, zero, one, one, one. One is zero, 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 one, eight, and two. Now I have a 16-bit binary number. I'm going to divide them up into groups. The hours consist of bits 15 through 11. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. The minutes consist of bits 10 through 5. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And then the seconds, and it's not going to be individual seconds. It's going to be two seconds. You know, um, we're not... And there's no way to check seconds anyway with what I've got, are the remaining bits. On what hour was this file modified or created? Doesn't really matter. Binary 01110 converts in decimal to 14. 14th hour, how many minutes into the 14th hour was this file created or modified? 001100 in binary is in decimal, um, is that, it was 12, yep, that's 12. And then the seconds, three seconds, actually six seconds, or two seconds, sorry, that's two, so it'd be four seconds. Who knows if it was really four, we can't check, but, so I'm not even going to write that down. We converted what was stored in the root directory table for the time modified or created to be time of 14, the 14th hour, the 12th minute that that file was created. And we could do that for any one of these entries in the root directory table. We could even do it for the entry in the volume label table. The, the volume label is not going to have a date or, you know, the create modification date or anything like that, but you know, it's going to have a name and an extension and an attribute. So there we have two portions of the high-level format for the FAT file system. We did not look at the actual file allocation table in this session. We saw that when a disk is formatted FAT, you know, it does the low-level format laying out the tracks and the sectors, but then it lays out the file system, the boot sector, very first sector on the disk, two file allocation tables, and then following the file allocation table, this root directory table, which we have three entries in, one for the volume label and one for the two files that I created after the format, which we can see a lot of the contents of the root directory table if we use DOS's DIR command. And what will follow the root directory table, there's a lot of unused space in the root directory table waiting for files to go into it, is the actual data portion itself. The data for one dot text is going to follow the root directory table where, you know, in sector 2.1, hex 2.1, which is cluster number 2. The data for 2.txt will follow that in the next sector or cluster in cluster number 3, or it will be sector 2.2. Two. That's um, what we have for looking at the file allocation table to follow along in your packet with the charts. I hope this is helpful.